Hello everybody, Arodan's here and welcome back to Miyagete Goran, Yozora no Hoshio. Yes, right, dude. Welcome back to a sky full of stars. So let's continue with the game. Come on. Alright, yeah, as you remember the last time Akito met Saya for the first time, yeah, she came to the classroom and she was with her sunglasses, right? Because she was uh, afraid of showing her eyes to the classroom. And well, when she takes them off, Akito says that her eyes look like Alvaro. Yeah, I remember that. She thought that it was an insult and she cries a lot. Well, right now we are in the next day. So Saya is coming into the classroom. Let's see what we got. Yeah, come on, dude. I don't know if it's a dude or a girl. Okay, anyway, the next day the new girl came to school, all right? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, now what will Akito say to this girl? After the last time, yeah. She wasn't wearing her sunglasses today, yeah. She sat in the back by the windows, staring out at the scenery, her face tilted down. Everyone kept stealing glances her way, yeah, because of her eyes. I still wonder what happened to your eyes, girl. Uh, okay, what is it? She ran off? Why? Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, this girl is, is feeling uncomfortable right now. Fuck. These little bitches. Yeah, shut the fuck up, come on. She's feeling bad right now, you know. Continuing to steal looks, the girls gather in closer and lower their voices as they spread their rumors. The girl's mother had originally come from this village, but she ran away. Oh my god, why? I'm really concerned, guys, what happened? <laughs> Later, after her divorce, oh, she came back home in tears, alright? At least that's what they said. Hmm, so Saya's parents are divorced. Hmm, poor girl, you know. I feel sorry for her. Really? Okay, okay, now we are gonna know what happened to her eyes? Okay, let's continue, come on. Her mother is responsible for that shit? They spread their cruel gossip in low voices, but Saya surely heard them. Oh my god, these little cunts. Why are they gossiping about her? Oh, fuck, I can't believe this shit. Stop talking bullshit, girls. I mean, I could hear them just fine. But she just stared out the window, her face composed and pretend not to hear them. Yeah, but she feels pretty uncomfortable right now. Yeah, tell them, Hikari. These little bitches. And you're acting like your mother, you know? <sighs> Shut your mouth up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. These girls are fucking cunts. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, that's right. Don't talk bullshit about Saya. Stop gossiping. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. What is it? Now that Hikari had settled the matter of the ghost gossipy girls, I took the chance to go up to Saya's desk. Oh, okay. Hey girl. Yeah, he will tell you I'm sorry <laughs> because of the last time, right? Saya caused my reflection in the window glass and jumped a bit, then slowly turned to me. Oh my god, her voice was off. <laughs> I'm sorry about yesterday, yeah, I knew it. I'm sorry that I said something to make you cry, yeah. It was a compliment, girl, but, well, you don't know uh, what what Alvaro means, right? You don't know about the start. But I didn't mean anything bad by it, yeah. 
it's just your eyes. Yeah, but <laughs> explain that to her, dude, please. Oh my god. <laughs> She's blushing, damn it. But in a very comfortable way, you know. The second I started to talk about her multicolored eyes, her cheeks flushed and she jumped up. Then she pushed me out of the way and ran out of the room. Oh, damn it, Akito, come on! <laughs> yeah, you have to know how to treat a girl, you know. <laughs> hey, wait! Takeichi and his gun saw this from the other side of the room and their faces start to darken with anger. Ah, oh, this motherfucker's crap, yeah. I left the room and started after her. <sighs> damn it. Okay, come on, help me, Hikari, because... This dude is pretty stupid, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about Akito, you know. He doesn't know how to explain some things to a girl. Oh. Mm, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm, that's pretty bad, you know. So your mother did those things to your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, poor Saya. She had a very hard childhood, you know. Poor girl. Hmm? <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know what Arbor is. Come on, explain that to her, please, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was telling you a compliment. No, some uh, stupid shit. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. <laughs> yeah, because she doesn't know anything about the stars, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I have to understand this kind of situation because she's still a kid, you know? She's still like uh, a little girl. Ah, Godzilla vs. Albiro? <laughs> oh my god, okay. Japan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Eh, yeah. Albiro Observatory? Where is it? In the mountains? まるで花火でいっぱいのような天の川の真ん中に黒い大きな建物が四棟ばかり立ってその一つの平屋根の上にオールライト目も覚めるような that's cool. So in this time, Saya didn't know anything about that. So when they were friends, she started to know everything about the stars. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let me read this shit story. It's from Knights of the Galaxy Railroad. 
It's a movie or series? Okay, I'm gonna check it out later. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. Mm, I guess for one reason the, the developers or the designers of this uh, visual novel made their, <laughs> her eyes like this. The yellow, or I mean orange and blue, right? Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, to match the Alvaro star. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You know, this guy is is um is a bit dumb, but he wanted to say uh, something very nice, you know. Okay, don't worry, girl. You will understand later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a book. Okay, I get it. Sorry. Okay, it's a book. Night for the Galactic Ride Room. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, girl. When they left, I came out of my hiding place. Oh, he was hiding in, a, in some part of this place. Okay, great. When I called out with Saya, she and Hikari were already talking, so I hit a monster. Yeah. I couldn't believe that that was a misunderstanding. Yeah. Thanks to Kihari, I knew why she'd been crying now, and I felt a little better. Yeah, oh my god. She cried like a baby, oh man. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I, I don't like when girls cr crying, you know? I don't like it. Okay, let's get back to classroom, dude. First bell run, yeah. Uh, another. Tum, pram, pam, pam. Come on, I hurry back to class, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, night time. Okay, never mind. I wash the dishes after the quiet dinner with no conversation. Mm, okay, so he doesn't talk too much to his grandfather, right? Granddad could only cook simple dishes. I think the neighbors feel bad for Granddad living alone, so they often brought over stews and leftovers. Oh, really? Mm. Mm, he's a hermit too. I think for that reason Akito is like that. Maybe. This made up the majority of our dinners along with ready-made di side dishes from the supermarket. Granddad left the room to take his bath. After finished the dishes, I slept down in the corner of my room to read a book. Except I wasn't really comprehending it, anything the book said. Hmm. What, what kind of book is it? Mm-hmm. Sigh. I shoot the book with an agitated sigh. Then reach for the cylindrical case and that lay nearby. Opening the, opening the zipper, I took out my telescope. Oh. After a bit of fiddling, I opened the rear window just a crack and point it at the night sky. Okay, he's going to start gazing with that broken telescope. Everything was blurry, I couldn't even see the stars. Yeah, you don't have to do that, dude. You will ruin your eyes, you know? If only this telescope wasn't broken, yeah. Then I would be able to show her Albrio, yeah, to Saya. That had shown me that beautiful double star only once when I was younger. Mm. Even though I hadn't touched anything, the image blurry even more. Yeah, come on, don't do that, dude. You will hurt your eyes like this. Yeah, you will hurt your eyes. Everything blurred so badly that I couldn't tell what I was even looking at anymore. And that's when I realized that I was crying. I put the telescope in my lap and I whipped away my tears. Mm. What the heck am I crying over anyway? Mm. 
Maybe because he's remembering his childhood with his dad. <laughs> he stargazed with his dad. I think so. I didn't understand it. Was it because I had remembered that? Yeah, that's right, for that reason, dude. Mountain climbing was dad's hobby. Sometimes he would even bring me along. Man would usually scold and say it was dangerous. I always felt like it was more work than play, so I never enjoyed going. Hmm. The time we saw Alvaro, we were spending the night on a mountain top somewhere. That friend who had come along brought out his telescope and had shown show them to me. Oh, okay, so this telescope belongs to his dad's friend. All right. Two stars nestled together, glowing orange and blue. Mm -hmm, that's Alvaro. The light coming from those two stars was the first I had seen through the telescope, and though it was simple, I, I was drawn by this mysterious allure. Allure. This reminds me of Kotori, you know? Yeah, this thing reminds me of Kotori. Do you remember uh, Allure? <laughs> yeah. Kotori from In My Heart Had Wins. Staring at the light from those stars dancing in the darkness, I had been transfixed and, without thinking, I had said that I really want a telescope. Hmm. Hmm, all right. Oh, um, yeah, I did. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mon looked at me with surprise. Yeah, it was true. I did say that I want a telescope, but I had no idea what came over at me at the time. I'm sure I just got caught up by the moment while camping on the mountain top. Honestly, I really want I really wanted a new game. <laughs> but it seemed that had already made up this his mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright. Sure, sounds fun. We had come down from the mountain and returned to our everyday lives. I forgot all about the elation I felt that night and upon remembering it, wonder how I ever thought the stars were interesting at all. But I didn't want to disappoint that, so I never said anything. Mm. Well, I could understand you, you know, because he, he was a little kid, so... Well, he's still a little kid in this part, but... Oh man, he didn't know what, what he wants, you know? In the end, they had got me this telescope. Mm hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, someone is. Someone is slamming the door. Suddenly, someone was banging on my front door at if, as if it were a drum. Mm, yeah. What the? Yeah, that's right. Bang, bang, bang. Who is banging? Come on. Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh man, I mean, it's night time, right? That boy, yeah. He career, yeah. I wait my tears awake in a panic. <laughs> oh my god. So, Rami-kun, okay. So, she doesn't call him by his name, right? Akito. So, Rami, by his surname. So, Rami, okay. Mm. Hey girl, do you come along here? Where are your parents? Oh my god! <laughs> you could ring the bell, you know? Yeah, you could ring the bell, you know? I knew granddad's house is old, but but it did still have a doorbell. All right. What do you want? Do you need something? Yeah. Honestly, I felt like I could use the company, so I was glad someone had come to visit. Okay, great. But please, girl, I mean, how did you come along? Well, uh, I think it's a very small town, so I think n nothing could happen here, right? Okay, I hope so. <laughs> I didn't want her to know that though, so I put up a group front so she wouldn't see through me. 
しないで見せてよ。望遠鏡あ、こモンゴル。あ、キト told you that it's broken, so what the fuck? What? Yeah. What was she talking about? 本当は壊れてなんかないくせに。嘘ついたって分かってるんだからね。Oh my god, this girl didn't believe you. What the hell? You're so persistent. But, but I wasn't lying, even you saw it. Yeah. The telescope was broken. My voice trailed off, and as I didn't want to admit that fact myself. As it did, Hikari gave me a puzzled look. Come on, girl. He showed you that shit. Don't you remember? Please don't be so persistent. I mean, you're so pushy.、Mm, I don't like that part of you, you know? I don't like the,、uh, that part of her personality. She's a very pushy girl. I'm being totally serious, yeah. Hikari searched my eyes for any hint that I may be lying. Oh my god. I obediently hand over the broken telescope to her. Okay. She then proceeds to painstakingly look it over. Okay, sorry. I'm going to check it out of this ball later. Sorry. Yeah. Look at this. After fiddling around with four minutes for a while, he carried a grin from ear to, to ear. <laughs> oh my god. And why, why do you say that, huh? But the images are, are all blurry and upside down, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Why would it show up image upside down? Yeah. Okay, what are, what are you gonna do? He carried hand me back the telescope and started to unfold a pipe shaped package at her feet. Oh? A tripod? Where did you get that? Oh, really? Oh my god. This bitch is very kind. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm still scared about these guys. <laughs> Why are you not like this in the future? Amiharu? <laughs> oh my god. He carried told me triumphantly as she continued to set up the tripod. And yet, alright, she was really excited just because it was dark, she was fumbling around a bit. Let me see. I gave her my telescope again and I tried to set up the tripod instead. This telescope had come with a tripod when we bought it, so in sort of knew what I was doing. What are you gonna do with this? Yeah. Mm, Alright. It's too dark to see well. Can you bring me the flashlight by the doorway? Okay. With Hikari holding the light, and after a lot of finding around, we finally managed to mount the telescope onto the tripod. We did it! Oh! Okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, with the Vixen, this fake trademark. Yeah, because the real one is Vixen with X, as I told you. Mountain properly on its tripod with a single lens point towards the night sky it certainly seems quite impressive. Alright, so now what do we do with it? Yeah, I ask her as an hour thought crossed in my mind. I was embarrassing that even though the telescope belonged to me, I didn't know how to use it without someone else's help.、Mm, okay, you know, this girl knows a lot about this shit. Hmm. Uh, I want to know about her life, you know? Hikari picked up the whole telescope assembly and moved it to a more spacious part of the yard. Then, using a lever situated between the telescope and the tripod, she aimed the lens somewhere up into the night sky. Alright, look at this! Okay, this is a pretty nice peak. Okay, great. We got a new one in the gallery. She dialed the nearby. No, nope, while peering into the telescope. Alright. Hikari. Alright. 
hi, hi, okay. Hikari was muttering to herself emphatically. So, are you able to see anything? Yeah. Or is it ultimately broken like I thought? What is it? Found what? Yeah. Okay, let's see, come on. Seriously, what is it? What do you see? Yeah. Come on, girl, show, uh, show that shit to Akito, come on. This is my telescope, you know? Yeah! Come on, bitch! Without thinking, I totally went and I and said it. Okay, okay, I'm so harsh with you guys, right? Okay, sorry, sorry, yeah. Because she's helping now, Akito, yeah, sorry. But come on, show that thing! With a deliberating, exaggerated motion, Hikari looked up from the toscope, spinning that tile as she did so. Okay, the spy really want me, wanting to jump in and take a peek, my pride got in the way and so I slowly sauntered sant, over. Okay, let's see, come on, don't rush me, <laughs> yeah. Sleeping my eagle's nest, I peer into the scope. Alright, what is it, the moon? Just like before the image I saw through the telescope was blurry, yeah. Were my eyes just bad? Oh, no, that couldn't be it. My vision was 20 fitting at my last eye exam, alright? So if that's the case, maybe I was doing it wrong. Like maybe there is a trick to looking through it? Mmm. Mm, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, but I think it's just still blurry, right? Oh my god. I don't know, I mean, Akito's eyes are okay, but what the hell is happening? How did she know? Oh. You did something, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do, girl? She giggled with a guilty expression. <sighs> oh my god. Which one? Oh, Hikari guided my hand with, her with hers to where the dial was located. Okay, right. Mm, it's nothing, alright, yeah. I would be embarrassed if, if she found out my hair skipped a bit when our hands touched, so I played it off. <laughs> yeah, I was guessing about that, you know, because... <laughs> oh man, yeah. When a, <laughs> when a girl touch you, your hand, yeah. And you know her pretty well to, too far. It's something very, very, very shy, you know, very embarrassed. Yeah, I, I can understand you, dude, you know? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Akito, he's feeling something very, very cute in his childhood. So, like this? Alright. Yeah, because, you know, I think Akito's a very shy guy, you know? Yes, as he said, as I turned the dial, the fuzzy image within the telescope began to slowly change. Mm, okay, so that's just calibrating that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see, come on. I can't see it. I answered her quietly, my voice shaking as my breath hit. Okay. Okay, so is this... Alright. Yeah. Now I can I can see pretty well this shit. Yeah, it's the moon. Okay, so you have to just calibrate the telescope? Oh, what the fuck, Akito, come on. I mean, doesn't this thing have a manual or something? Man. <laughs> oh my god, this little kid. Like walking from a dream, the haze lift from the image, revealing the and otherworldly landscapes so different from Earth. Oh my god, I love this program music, you know? I love it so much. Yeah, but I mean, that thing doesn't have a uh, manor or something, what the fuck? Is this the moon? Yeah, it is the moon, don't you see it? Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, this chorus. I couldn't see a clear image of the Disney skill and valor created by the Kratos. Alright. 
Still, I didn't look at the light at the moon that I knew. What I saw wasn't at all like the glowing yellow disc I usually look up the, in the night sky. Looking at the bumps and wallets of the waning moon, they were so stark against, against the surface. I felt as if I were looking at the exact same soil that I was currently standing on. On the other side of the vast operation of space, there was soil. Hmm. I never knew the moon was so uneven. I always had thought of it like a really big version of a light pool. It's not as if I hadn't known there was soil on the moon. It was hard to compare the image of the moon that we, we see on the TV or in books to the sphere we see glowing in the night sky. Yeah. There were rocks on the moon, mountains basing a surface that reflect light and make shadows. The delineation between the darkened surface and the surface illuminated by the sun was exceptionally vivid. Oh, really? Okay, that's cool. Hmm, I love this chorus. <laughs> Listen to the whispers. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty nice. Oh, Hikari asked me as little impatience so show me showing in her voice. That was when I noticed it. That my vision had gone blurry again. Oh. Okay. So the problem is his eyes? But this time it wasn't because the telescope was broken, okay? Or that I couldn't get it to focus. It was because I was crying. Mm, okay. I mean... When you look through the telescope, do you start to cry, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Despite being caught off guard, Hikari was concerned. Yeah, because he remembered his childhood with his dad. Yeah. His dad died, right? Yeah. Tears poured down my face. All thoughts of being embarrassed about crying long forgotten. I was supposed to see this with that. Hmm. Dad and I were gonna do an observation project together. We we're gonna use this telescope and... He died in an accident? Sobbing, I started talking about things I never told anyone before. I actually wanted something else, but Dad really want, wanted me to see the, the stars. And so I put up with it, but... But in the end, we didn't get to see them, because because both Dad and Mom died before we could go. Oh my god, yeah. Mm. I was thinking about this before, you know, when Akito was remembering his childhood, yeah. Yes, I got, I got a feeling about that, yeah. That his Dad and Mom died, yeah. That's sad, you know. Mm, for that reason, Akito is living with his granddad. He's also returning the future. Uh, he doesn't talk too much to people, you know? Mm. Oh, man. That's pretty sad, you know? Mm. So I get it why Akito wants to be alone all the time, you know? Now I understand. Oh my god, this is a pretty sad story, guys. Oh, man. Like my tears, I couldn't stop my rambling. Feelings that I had hidden deep in my heart were welling up and pouring out along with my tears. Oh my god. I lost both mom and dad in an accident. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, I was guessing about that. I was taken in a let go by so many family's relatives over and over again until I was finally brought to my retired granddad's house. Oh my god, really? Everyone ignored how I felt about it all. Throughout those tumultuous times, I lost a great deal of things. One by one they were lost. Important things, not so important things. 
Oh, the baseball glove that dad had brought, bought me. The scarf that mom had knitted for me. Clothes and shoes that I had all grown. The water canteen and backpack I had used when we get hike up the mountain, my favorite baseball cap. My bicycle. My family photo album. Oh my god. With every item lost, I also lost a memory. And with each memory loss, my heart broke that much more. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty sad, you know. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Sorry, guys. Whether it was fun or sad or happy or angering, it's like I was just waiting for the future. Whether tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or just any time that I could look forward to. One by one I lost every fragment that made up who I was. Oh my god. Everything just gone. Poor kid. I have no words for this guy, sorry. It's pretty sad. It's like having a pocket with a hole in it. As you continue walking, you end up dropping more and more things out of it. But there is just one thing that I've got left. I raise my hand to my telescope as I say that. So I may have lost the tripod that we were we bought with it. I still have this telescope with me. Okay. It was the proof I need. It was a single piece of evidence that tied the present me, who has lost almost everything with the me and had lived happily with both of his parents. Hmm. Sometimes I feel like everything that happened at that time was all just illusion of a dream. Okay, I think for that reason he he brings this telecom with him all the time because He's afraid of losing it, right? Yeah. For example, if he leaves the telescope in his granddad's house and he's in the school, he will have the fear that he's going to lose his thing. Yeah, you get my point, right? Yeah, for that reason, he, car he carries his telescope all the time with him. Mm. Oh my god, I think that's so paranoid. <laughs> oh man. But poor little kid, you know, I understand this shit. Oh my god. But well. Let's continue, guys. But when I get like that, this telescope reminds me that it was all real. It had happened. That the good time I spent with mom and dad really did happen. That's why I can't lose this. Mm, yeah, I understand you right now, dude. Okay. Now I understand why you bring that thing all the time. I brought into a school with me every day because of that reason. Hmm. I felt uneasy if it wasn't with me, even though I didn't even know how to use it. Hmm. Yeah. She said so apologetically. I'm sure she regrets pestering me so badly to see it. Yeah. I shook my head to reassure, reassure her it was okay. Honestly, it wasn't really painful. Even though I said that is proof of my memories, I really hadn't made any with it or, or at all. The only reason I treasured this telescope was because it just happened to be the only thing that I managed to keep. Mm, that was it. But I had no choice but to hold on to it. I had to convince myself that it was something important. Is there even anything there? Isn't this just some plain old empty tube? It was so painful to have that doubt lingering in the corner of my mind. I gripped my shirt about my heart, scrunching the fabric in my grasp and I recall the pain. But I guess that wasn't the case, huh? It wasn't just an empty tube. The moment I realized that fuck, I was overwhelmed with, with tears. Hmm. Mm. 
It was there, at the opposite ends of this last remaining piece of hope, my telescope, yeah. And now knowing the truth meaning, I was able to make the connection. The connection between me, who had only known happiness, and the current me. Yeah, cheer up, dude. Thanks, Hikari, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> After saying that with a dismissive look on her face, Hikari laughed jokingly. Ah, uh, come on girl. I couldn't help but laugh. That was the exact same thing I had said to her the first day of transferring. Oh, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry for being such a jerk before. Mm. I never made any friends because I was always transferring to school. Mm, okay. Yeah, oh my god. What do you mean? Yeah, Tomodachi. She's your Tomodachi dude, okay? I think for that reason, uh, in the future, he had a very, uh, a very strong connection with her, right? I mean, they're childhood friends, but as he told her his past life, so for that reason, he has a strong connection with her, you know? Yeah, you get my point, right? Mm. She smiled as if to say it's me. Okay, guys, I'm going to end right here. This is a very good place to save. Come on, let's save. Yeah. All right, go. Yeah, come on. So uh, we'll we'll continue in the next episode. Okay, guys. Come on. Go. All right. Uh, let's see the gallery. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got this pig. Look at this. It's pretty nice, you know? Very cute. Hmm, one, two, three. Okay, three picks. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm, okay, BGM. I don't think we got anything new here, right? Mm-hmm. So, okay, I'm gonna end right here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, give me a comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned.